What up, what up? Welcome to Fly Visions TV, where we keep doing fly shit even when the camera stops. It's your host, Tom McFly, here with here at the Hefe by Hefe More Than a Boss office. Here with the big bosses, of course. Y'all can introduce yourself. What's good, I'm Leo. What's good, I'm Josh. So, so we're, first of all, this is this is fire. It's fire set up for me. I like the artwork. Nice, nice garments, nice rug over here. Appreciate you. First of all, what does this logo exactly mean? Because like I always see it on all you guys' clothes, but I never exactly understood it. Me myself. Honestly, personally. this is the visual we made before like the Hefe logo was even made. Okay. And if you see it, they like we kind of try to spell out Hefe in the globe too. Like you can see the J right there. The oh, e, I didn't repeat that. Yeah. Is the F right there? The other E is like. I don't know, but you could count that as a second E. Okay, <laughs> I bet. And then what, is, what did the two dudes on the, on the seesaw represent? That's me and Leo, and we're like on top of the world. So okay. So, yeah. Right, that's why I big bosses. Yeah. Where did you guys get the name? Have to be like, did it just come to y'all? Yeah, honestly, when we, before we started, we always said that we wanted to come up with a name that that didn't limit us to stuff, you know? So it's like okay. something that if we had the name, we could make whatever we really wanted. Yeah. So. Honestly, we just took some time to think about some acronyms, think about some other stuff. We thought boss, but then we're like, boss doesn't sound that good. So we just did Hefe. Hefe Hefe sounds better than boss. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, and everybody know. knows what it means, too. So yeah, nah, definitely wavy. When I was telling my barber today, I'm like, I'm like yeah, I got an um, interview with Hefe by Hefe. He's like, oh, that's that's boss by boss. He's like, if you didn't know what that meant. I'm like, obviously, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Thing, but um, how did you guys link up in the first place? Like you guys just always grew up together. You guys related. Yeah, no, no, we always knew each other. We went to school with each other since we were younger. Okay. Then we went to high school together. Then we ended up going to the same college. So. And it was just a one down some like board shit. Like yo, bro, start making clothes. Or you guys? Honestly, it was almost that organic, bro. We were just like in the car, talking about it. Just talking about like what we want to do in the future. He started talking about clothes. I started talking about clothes, and then boom, it yeah, just that. came about. Like it was just mad, like organic, bro. And when did you guys create this? In, in college, you guys started? Yeah, it was uh, the summer 2018, 2018 summer. Yeah. So and you guys dropped, about, we dropped in like September 2018. So you guys about like like three, three, four years yeah, in? Yeah, nah, two. Yeah, two going on three. Two, yeah, two, yeah, two, yeah, yeah, two going on three. Now it's definitely fire, but I be seeing it everywhere because you guys are from on like the Cambridge side of town, right? Yeah, well, we went to school in Cambridge, but we live like on the North Shore. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because I I see it all the way in the South Shore because that's why I went to high school, you know, mm-hmm. and I and I've been seeing. Hefe by Hefe, like since like literally like yeah, like you guys said like twenty eighteen summer for mm-hmm. me, even in Boston. So how do you guys go about spreading you got you guys just, you know, clothing everywhere? Bro, honestly we're still trying to get better at that. I don't yeah. think we honestly between I think me and Josh don't think we do too well at it, honestly. We're still trying to find more ways to get out to more people. Mm-hmm. Um You guys grabbing some five visuals like on the gram, like you know, mm-hmm. commercials, mm-hmm. you guys just models, they always fly, mm-hmm. so that, that's a good way definitely. Yeah, I think media. we just we just like focus on what we do. Mm-hmm. And then it just makes its way out. But like now we're trying to like force it or force its way out type shit. So, okay. Yeah. So you guys' creative process, do you guys draw everything? Uh, like how do you guys, you know, go about dropping a a, a piece? Okay, okay. We text everything. I heard you. Oh, yeah. like we call. If I think of something, I call Josh. Josh thinks something, he'll call me, text mm-hmm. me. And then he just brings it to life. Something that I feel like a lot of early brand makers, you know, people that want to start clothing brands, really sell anything, is always finding a good manufacturer. Mm-hmm. Have you guys ever had any problems with a manufacturer or like, you know, just talk about some of the difficulties? I mean, yeah, the manufacturer we have now, was, he's our dog, but at the beginning, he was, he was fucking up. I think, mm-hmm. our, I think our second time we ordered through him, we ordered some clothes and he just went MIA. Yeah, yeah, he that was good for yeah. like two months. So we thought wow. he ran off. There's been times that we order shit with people. And they don't like the way they send it in. It's not the correct way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we didn't even um, find our manufacturer till like a year after. Like we were going to printing stores locally mm-hmm. that we were making gear that way. And then once we found our manufacturer that we trusted, then that's when like the fire gear, like the the hoodies and the you know three D printed shirts and shit started coming in. Well, cause see, that's crazy. It took a whole year yeah. for y'all not giving up and yeah. just testing out different things. Yeah, I saw be trying to tell people like even for myself, I want to drop more fly business gear, and I've been. Running into a couple of manufacturers, I've dealt with one before, it was kind of whatever, mm-hmm. you know, but it's like, eventually I'm going to find something, you know? No, yeah, it's just, honestly, it's just not giving up. It's just like a test trial. You got to, like, figure out, like, when people come to us, like, oh, like, oh, who's your manufacturer? Like, we, ch- I mean, we tell people to just go to Alibaba, find someone that, like, works with you. Just mm-hmm. because it's a person that we use fucks with us doesn't mean it's going to fuck with everyone else. It's yeah, that's true. And, and also, you can find someone better, too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. That's very true. Ask for it, honestly. Okay. All right. 
You know what I mean? I think we were pretty, both of us are pretty, like, we're pretty into clothes. Bringing from, like, designer, even, like, regular streetwear shit. Mm -hmm. High-end fashion, like, fashion week stuff. Like, I'm the type of nigga, like, I want to go fashion week, you know? I'm, like, I'm into shit like that, so. Yeah, no. So, like, yeah, yeah, so, like, you know, yeah, so, like, looking at stuff like that, I think that's what helps us. Yeah, basically, we just talk about, like, shit that's going on in our lives, too. Mm -hmm. And how we want to put that on clothes. Trying to kind of, like, put a message to the clothes, too. But also, if it's just some flash shit that we want to make, then we just make it, like. It could go both ways. Yeah. So honestly, sometimes we just make shit because I, I mean, I don't know about Josh, but sometimes I be trying to make shit just because I want it for myself. Yeah. I'm like, I mean, I want it, but I'd rather just throw my name on it. Don't have yeah, to on it. That's like, like, like even off. at the beginning, that's how I saw that hoodie that pink when I was like, man, I ain't see that one before. Yeah, no bullshit. We just made this, like I said, because I was like, yo, Josh, no bullshit. I want and it's city. calm with just the the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the crosses. Yeah, it's, it's tough. And I never, I never seen that special either. Yeah. That was tough too. Great one. So, question Do y'all make better shit for yourself? <laughs> Nah, 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 that's not the case at all. I think we definitely have some flash shit coming. Yeah, okay, okay. we definitely have some. We have a lot of different shit coming, like next level. Okay, yeah. Yeah. trying to like take it up a notch. Ah, uh, right. I think something we that do we make a lot of exclusive though. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, the exclusives are good just because it gets people. Um, just because it gets people, like it catches people's eyes. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's like they can't buy it enough, like, oh, all right, like that's a fact. I gotta tune in. Exclusives are always better though. Yeah, exactly. You so know, exclusives. sometimes they're not even like purposely exclusives. Like, we'll try to sample something, then, like, for some reason, it doesn't work out, so we just keep it for ourselves. Yeah, I was gonna say that's a lot of the thing, too. And something that I definitely noticed that you guys do a lot also is make, say, if someone's having an event or something like that, like, you guys will make your own, like, you guys are designed clothes for that event or mm -hmm. for someone's um, album that's about to drop yeah, and yeah. just throw, like, hefe hefe somewhere on it. Yeah. So, so how does that work? Can people come to you guys with custom yeah. orders? Or? Yeah, so we always tell people, like, if you have, like, a, even if you have, like, another brand, or, like, you have a brand, you have your artist, you have a business or whatever, like, we always, so we have something called the Curation Center. So it was a, we're always um, open to helping people. And, um, that's cool. That's that's definitely different. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. We work with like different businesses to artists. Like mm. we, always, we have a whole spectrum of people we work with. How about we're say we're trying to build that up too. How about say because I seen a rapper. Um, he had a he had a, like a personal hoodie yeah. that was by you guys, mm -hmm. and I seen the event that was on you guys' Instagram. Mm -hmm. You guys made clothes for them too. Like, I was like, that's tough shit. So if I me five vision, so if I want. Like, you know, I'd say if I'm stuck or some shit, I could mm -hmm. come to you guys. Like, hey, you guys got me design something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You see, that that's some different shit. Anybody, you feel me, need a little kick and a little boost, you feel me? A little half a sauce. Come to these dudes right here. Yeah, yeah. I think that's something, like, that's something that we try to build on. Like, besides just dropping our own clothes, you know, it's like a good side business, you know? Yeah, that's a fact. Because yeah. I feel like a lot of people, like, want to do something. They, one, they don't have the resources. They feel like they can't do it. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? so Especially when everybody's coming to us asking about our manufacturer. So I bet, like, if they're not a clothing brand or whatever, mm -hmm. they just want to make it, like, one or two times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can just make it for you. Make it easier. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And that's fine, because you guys throw you guys a stamp. Yeah. That's another way to catch you. Oh, who made that for you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you got it, yeah. If you guys could work with anybody in the world, you know, collab, artists, or other brands, you know, who would you guys collab with? Um, for me, just off the name and everything, I think an artist would want to, well, I'd want to collab with is Shy Glizzy. Just because he's been on my whole half name, so that'd be cool. Oh. Um... That's tough, actually. Yeah. I didn't even think that would be Brands? Fun. Oof. Brands that I want to collab with. Um, a high-end brand. I'd probably say... I don't know. Yeah, no, i say Heron Preston. Mm -hmm. I fuck okay. with Heron Preston. I do Heron Preston. That's, um, that's, these are all yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are five. Yeah, some good shit. I like to fuck with Heron Preston. I do Heron Preston. Um, and I do, and honestly, just cause it's really, I do Nike, and Nike collab would be crazy. Yeah, of course. Honestly, bro, I'm still deciding. But right now, I'd probably say Daily Paper, um, I'd say Carhartt, and probably Dickies, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like those. I, I already know, I could just have a picture in there, I, I yeah. can see that being special. Carhartt going hard, and the most Carhartt is. Carhartt, yeah. Have you ever tried sending y'all, um, like, well, first, has anybody, you know, big time ever worn Hefe by Hefe yet, or? Um, we like, had Quala Ray. Oh, yeah. We had Quala oh, Ray. Ray. We had Millie's. Millie's a big local. Okay. Um, and we had, let's see. That's pretty much it. We had, um, who's that third one? Yeah. yeah. And how does that, how's that make y'all feel, you know, even, like, seeing people in public, you feel me, like, and they just might have it on or sound like that? Like, how's, how's that love feel mm -hmm. that people, you know, rock with y'all shit so much? Um, at first it was like, 
it was lit. You know, you see somebody wearing your shit, it's like, yo, I made that. You're mm -hmm. wearing it and you're happy to wear it. That's lit. And now it's like, I want more people to wear it. So okay. at first it was kind of like, a, I was relieved and now I'm motivated. Not fair. Yeah. No, yeah, I agree. Same thing. Before I had to gate to see people, sometimes I try not to record them, but now it's like, like yeah, I'm happy you're wearing it, but we're trying to get it up to like more people. Do y'all go up to them and y'all made that? Or you're just like, no, oh, no, nah, nah, I keep it cool. Nah, nah. Okay, okay. Keep it cool, keep it cool. So y'all aren't, y'all aren't like big, like, 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 that's me, that's me, that's me. Nah. I'm just kind of, I mean, I don't know about never, We've never been like that. Yeah, like that. Nah, yeah, never really. I think the, I don't know about y'all, I feel like for me, it's more of like, my friends if we're out and tell them I say something, I feel like that's when they kind of like put me on the spot. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah like, oh, this is, yeah, this is this dying, is, yeah. yeah, I feel you, I feel you. Yeah, that's you're trying to keep that attitude too, like when we keep getting bigger. Definitely humble. Yeah. Yeah. You don't stay humble, it's going to fuck you up in the process. Yeah, I feel Because you guys are definitely doing your thing, you know, under, under the boat going on three years, you know, mm -hmm. two years. You guys even have this office in this society too. So, like, what do you guys exactly? So, you guys are open every day? Like, people could just come um, up? Honestly, not. We're not really here every day. It's not really like an, yeah, it's like an office, but like we kind of. Well, like by appointment. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, like, certain days we might have like, we had like two pop ups in here so far. Or like if we're here and like we have some clothes left over, if someone hits us up, we tell them to like come by the shop, okay. or come by come by the office, and we usually try to like do stuff to here. But like more of like by point, we don't just say that we just have like normal hours over here. Because I noticed you guys have a website as well. Yeah. So if you guys say if someone misses the website or or if they see clothes about to drop, they could come here. Like this is where you guys drop the clothes. Cause yeah. I know a lot of people are like yo like what are from because like you guys say you guys are humble. So there are, are there are some people out there. I've ran into people who was like, "Yo, who even runs it? Like, who do I go yeah. talk to if I need you feel me?" Yeah. But so they can pull up here. or You you give them directions. Nah. Obviously. So yeah, obviously, like if we have clothing, if you see it on like on our Instagram that we already dropped, you get someone or hit us up on our DMs. If we still have it, it's usually me. I will respond and then we can just link up and get it done. I don't mind. Sometimes I'll be going to people. I'll be honest. Oh, so y'all still come Trump here. too? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah. I'll do that. I'm not gonna lie. It's That's nothing, me. Yeah, if it's local, it's nothing, there's nothing wrong with doing that. It's easier that way anyways. Yeah. And it makes the customer happy. It's a customer experience. So yeah. Fine. Um, but yeah, or like sometimes we drop on our website. If we drop on our website, we usually make it clear when we post a clothing when we're going to drop. Mm -hmm. So then that's a good time. That's, I mean, usually when we drop on our website, you use the website to drop or we do pop-ups. But usually we make it known when we're dropping. And do you guys sell out a lot? Like, do you guys overstock, understock? Like, how you guys feel? Uh, we try it depends to. on the product. Like, Cause in my opinion, in my opinion, I feel like y'all always sell up. There's always something I'd be like, oh shit, like even if I seen it like a day late, I'd be like, yo, what's up? Just like, yeah. like, yeah, that's you know. what people think because that's what would happen in the past because we would really have like a low, low amount, mm -hmm. and we wouldn't have that much variety too. And now we're dropping more often, we're dropping bigger collections, so okay. like certain shit will sell out. Like if it's probably like usually if we have two different colors of a graphic design t-shirt, we have like a black and a white. The black's gonna sell out first, obviously, because mm. it's black. Mm -hmm. So everybody's gonna go on looking for the black. They're gonna think the white sold out too, because the black is sold out, yeah, but it's true. still there. They don't even check, because they think it's sold out. Mm -hmm. But like, you know what I mean? That's kind of like a, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. a good thing that you guys sell out, because like you said, it makes it more exclusive. Yeah. And, yeah. and sometimes less accessible is better, because it makes people want it more. Exactly. You know what I mean? you guys ain't, even though the people see it everywhere, you can't just go get it like today yeah, or tomorrow. So now it's something that people get, begin annoyed though. It's like, damn, like, mm -hmm. I definitely know a couple of people. Hey, shit, even me, like, because for a minute, like I said, like, y'all drop like this is like probably this and and y'all new sources is the mm -hmm. only thing I have, but I know I've wanted it mad times. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, damn, so that like. Nah, so I know a couple people probably like, just guys like, damn, fuck these niggas. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I try to get and I can't get nothing. Like, <laughs> it definitely know, so be like, like that. See, especially even with the big brands too. I, I know how I be feeling when I be trying to get like the Supreme. So yeah. I'll be like, damn. Like, yeah, so imagine it's a local brand and it makes you feel even worse. Like, yeah, even like, like right down the street. Why can I get this shit? <laughs> nah, that's a fact. So starting here, this is you guys' first office. This mm -hmm. is um, where we are right now. Medford. 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 Yeah. What are three places around the world that you guys will open up a Hefe by Hefe store, another office? Three places anywhere around the world. I'm a first, New York. Thing. I'm trying to think out of the U.S. Mm -hmm. There's so many places, bro. I really don't even and know. And now it really is. Probably. Probably do something like the U.K., like London or something. Um, and then, I don't know, like, I don't know. I don't know what the fair face would be. You know, tapping out. Yeah, tapping out, bro. All right. I'm going to go with I'm gonna do something just, you know, for the hometown. I'll do Newberry Street. Okay. Just cause, you know what I mean? We're from right here, I'm saying out here, the people. Um, 
I'd probably, I'd say, if I'm doing another spot in the U.S., I'm going to go with L.A. It's nice and warm weather out on the West Coast. That's a whole other market. Mm -hmm. Outside the U.S., it's between France or Italy. That's interesting. I really thought y'all was going to say Asia, at least one of y'all. Like no, bullshit. Asia is, is lit. I be, yeah, I be saying a lot of like a, like a lot of like the low, like the low profile, high end brands that be doing shit in Asia. Mm -hmm. Asia's a good market. Chinese people, it's a good food. market. No, yeah, yeah, the consumer. That's a good consumer market. No. But those are good places. At least you guys picked home first. You feel me? As, as one of the spots. Um, what does fly mean to y'all? That's something I, I ask. You know, everybody that comes yeah. to the show. Fly means to me. Fly is original to me. Like, if you're doing. If you think you're fly, then you're fly, honestly. Like, you can't go by other people's standards and shit. Okay. Yeah. Fly, for me, is just kind of just being, just being clean, honestly. You don't, you don't have to have like, the most expensive shit on, or the most popular shit on. Yeah, just being clean. Mm -hmm. yeah. Clean and proper. I say that. If you can rock whatever, then you're fly. Clean is, clean is next to garden. Exactly. That's, that's, that's one thing I started learning as a girl. I didn't see niggas where... Fifteen, fifteen hundred dollar fits on, and the niggas wearing a fifteen dollar fit on from the thrift store, and the fifteen dollars thrift store nigga look way better than the nigga with the fifteen hundred dollar fit on. So you know, that's true. So so how y'all go about that? Even when like dressing yourself, do y'all go for like the biggest, the like, most expensive, or y'all y'all mix it up a little bit? You know, like because obviously, like you said, you could get crazy from mm -hmm. from the thrift store, even in design a bit. I've seen niggas in design look crazy too. Yeah. Like, um, for me personally, I'm, I think I mix it up, but for me, honestly, I just wear sweats though. I'm a sweatpants type of nigga, so I, I, I wear Nike sweats, I wear half face sweats, I wear designer sweats, I wear different types of stuff, but, um, you catch me sweats, sweats in a hoodie. Okay. Yeah, um, me, I'll, I'll mix it up, like, I'm, I'm a little more versatile, like, I'll go to the thrift, I'll cop some, like, like, old Supreme or something, mm -hmm. or, like, some vintage shit, and then I'll mix it up with some Hefe. Or I'll just like keep it classy. Like it depends on my mood, honestly. And do y'all wear hefe every day? Y'all say wear, yeah, every day. I don't know. I try to. I have a lot though. I, mean, I don't think I wear it enough. I should, just a couple of days. I just have like I just made like a whole storage man. Mm, my wow. closet still full of mad clothes. Hefe shit, you never even dropped yet, huh? Ah, uh, some of it, but no. Some stuff. Some stuff I still got in wrappers that we dropped like in the past. Yeah, we have mad shit. Some exclusive stuff. Yeah. yeah hopefully y'all get from toss me. I don't know. Honestly, that's crazy. I was, it was running through my head a couple days because I should. I mean, whoever's a size large, I might do something. Yeah, I might, I, I might give away some of my personal stuff. I've been thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, that'd so be do fire. I've been thinking about that. Yeah, that'd be fire. Especially because y'all could even charge up. Like this is literally a one on one. Nah, like, see, I might not shit. do. I might just make like a nice little friendly raffle. Yeah, that's what we did our last raffle. I know he gave away some of his stuff, like some of his exclusive shit, Ryan some stuff. Yeah, so yeah, something I'm gonna do, do that again. in the future. Yeah, that's a good idea. Probably give him like a couple more months, and then I'll probably do it. And now you guys are a team, you feel me? How, do you guys ever bump heads on certain things? Like, you feel me? Like, do you guys, because obviously y'all ain't gonna always agree, mm -hmm. you feel me? How do you guys go about, you know, just working together? Because there's a, there are a lot of people who can't work as a team. Yeah. If they did, they'd be more successful. Yeah. You feel me? So, just talk about team. I don't know about Josh, but I feel like we don't really bump heads. Yeah. It's honestly, it's more of like, so if, I'll be honest, like, if Josh feels strongly about something, I'm just like, eh, he just went, now we're doing it. I'm like, right, fuck <laughs> it, I trust you. I feel so like, I just, yeah, yeah. I mean, we just compromise, honestly. I don't really yeah. butt heads. I just be, or yeah. if I, or if I'm strong about something, and I'm like, nah, nah, nah we're gonna do it, and I, I'm like, All right, cool, and then he just kind of get whatever. He just lets me do it. I feel yeah, it. that's basically how it is, bro. And which one? And which one y'all do y'all think is more fly? You think it's him? Nah, I give it to him. Nah, I think it might be you. I right, real we got, we got two dude, different styles. Real humble like, dude, yeah. And like you said, as long as you're yourself, you're fly. So exactly. everybody can be fly. Exactly. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I definitely hear that. So obviously, this is a new year. What's some what's some fashion do's and don'ts that you guys want to see this year and don't want to see? Fashion don't. I'm going to start with the don'ts. This is this just should have always been a thing where I feel like niggas still don't get this. <laughs> don't wear Adidas with Jordans. That's a fact. I think that's one of my biggest don'ts. You don't wear Adidas with the Jordans. No perpetrating. Um, dude. Damn, for fashion, honestly? What's a tip? You feel me? You get him off that jet? You feel me? Like, I don't know. Honestly, what I just tell people is put that shit on. Honestly. I know it's COVID. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know it's COVID, but whenever you get the chance, just put that shit on. That's it. Okay, okay. How about you, Dudes? No, no, no. Don't follow the trend. 
especially if everybody's doing it, don't follow that shit. Actually, yeah, that's if you have an instinct, you feel like it's gonna be fly, try it out. Niggas might follow. Um, do put a clean fit on if you're wearing a hefe. Okay, that's all. Cut the right. Have y'all ever seen? I hide. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> so have y'all ever seen somebody wear y'all shit and it's just like, like nah, like they. I don't even know why they wore it like that. Like that's terrible. <laughs> Honestly, stop lying. Yeah, I have. <laughs> but like, it's, like, but there's nothing you can do about it. Like, you know, yeah, you're still yeah, happy that they, that, you, that, that they exactly support it. Supporting, so it's kind of like a yeah, I'm happy you're wearing it, but it's like don't wear it like that. But it's that's just all in my head because it's like yeah. that's something we're thinking about all the time. Nah, that's a fact. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. There's some people that probably like damn, like some of those shit. They look mad dusty. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but like, yo, like but I just tell like, 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 you, they'll, they'll be like, oh, I'm not copying that no more. Oh, no, I've heard that a couple times. Yeah. You can rock it better, make it look good. So I'm not gonna hold y'all right. Something that I seen one not not the right way in my opinion was the um like the Foza putties that's a oh, hefe hefe the different yeah. color ones. Yeah. Like cause there was one specific color I really wanted mm. and I couldn't get it. I, what color did I want? I either I think I wanted like the um purple one. That was yeah. like my favorite one. Because I seen a couple people just wear the other colors just badly. I'm not gonna hold yeah. y'all. So that should make me not even want another color. Because you told me, you was like, yo, I got these other colors. And I was like, nah, I'm not going to go. You see, The thing is, like, when we split, when we split, like, Hefe and Hefe by Hefe, like, the more luxury shit and, like, Hefe oh, Plus so, Plus. Oh. Hefe Plus Plus is, like, under Hefe by Hefe. So, like, we wouldn't just, like, drop, like, a, a full zip under, like, Hefe. That's more, like, Hefe by oh, Hefe. See, I didn't even know that y'all, like, y'all, like, yeah, separated up. So explain that. So, like, at first we were just making Hefe. Like, we were just, like, sweatsuits and shirts and hoodies and stuff like that. And then we kind of wanted to take it up a notch. Like we were making, you know, like silk shirts, like neoprene crew necks. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to test like our full creativity. Even though like we, we kind of took it a notch down since then and started making Hefe Plus Plus. Mm -hmm. It was like a mesh between Hefe and Hefe by Hefe. Okay. Kind of like making like a, a little medium between it. And this like, is, so this is right here? This, this yeah, that's Hefe Plus Plus right there. Okay. And that's just oh. like... That's like a on the back. Oh yeah, he has the astronaut on the back too. Yeah, oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's fine. I need yeah, to keep that right yeah. yeah, but like we didn't want like to put out Hefe by Hefe and people are wearing it as if it's like regular Hefe. You know what okay, I mean? so if you like, if, if you like wear... that rhinestone mm -hmm. right there, like we don't want you to like wear that with some regular sweats and some sandals or whatever. You know what okay. I mean? Like dress it up. Well, you're wearing it right now, or like even like dress it more up. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, like okay. Yeah. You know, cause I was feeling it, like my sister, she be, she be on some weird shit. She be like, "Oh, you have that gear shine, look, are you down my way?" Like, like, but I fuck with it, the Ryan Stones, you feel me? And it's the logo with the tie. Honestly, that's some shit. Like what you said, like when Josh said, just try some shit. I was like, we like, yo, we see some tie. We like, yo, we want to fuck with some tie that. On dogs, we sat in my backyard and made like all the shirts tied that. Like, yo, we just playing with it. Oh, see, so y'all did this yourselves? On dogs, yeah. yeah we oh, just that's, had, oh, that's we tough. Ordered, we got, like, I, thought it, I, thought I thought it came like that. Nah, nah, we ordered blank shirts from manufacturer and like, yo, let's try tie dye. So we just brought a whole bunch of different yeah. colors and we were just trying. So do you do the tie dye first and then put the rest yeah, yeah, on top? Yeah, we have to okay. tie, tie dye. Also, it, so when y'all drop this, each shirt is technically different. Yeah, yeah, yeah basically. Okay, okay, that's crazy. See, I never knew that. That's yeah. tough. Yeah. We made that um, shirt a while ago though. I'm, yeah, okay. When you came in here, I forgot. I don't know what my shirt is, honestly. <laughs> also, yeah, so you don't y'all don't even got this one. Nah, I don't. I, 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 I wore it once, like a year and a half ago. I'm, I wore mm -hmm. mine once too, but I don't know where it's at. This should be banging in the summer off the light. What? He was probably just VVS. Man, man, man. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. Um, so what are you guys' is, who are you guys' is targeted audience? Because like I said, I've seen all types of people wear y'all clothes, mm -hmm. girls, guys. It's all, it's unisex, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So every every single piece, a guy could wear, a girl could wear, yeah. vice mm -hmm. versa. Mm -hmm. All right. And actually then, what we actually learned is that women like wearing the stuff that guys that are men. Yeah, you know, like, when we drop women's clothes, women like, don't get well. When we drop like women's clothing, women weren't really receptive to it like that. Yeah. But like, yeah. when it comes to like the regular stuff, women, I feel like women buy it more than the men do. So mm -hmm. it's like it was crazy. It was weird. We just started making more like smaller sizes, so okay. more women could cop it. Yeah, because you know, girls they love stealing dudes' clothes, yeah, especially like the hoodies and yeah, shit. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's, like, that's smart that you guys even thought about that. Mm -hmm. Um, but who are you guys' targeted audience? That's I don't know about Josh, but I try to get to everybody. Like I've heard some people, like adults, like oh my god, like it's like forty, fifty years old. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I don't care how old you are. If you like it, then we're gonna try to get it to you. Um, yeah, but obviously, just... like we're more accessible to like people around our age, 18 to 25. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, even like, a little bit older, like only the people that are really like on social media, because I feel yeah. like we're big, we have like a big Instagram presence, and it's kind of like, that's like our only really like platform that we use. Like we're trying to get on, we just uh, got on Twitter, so we're trying to get that up. But like really, like we, 
Yeah. We'll drop all those for me. Yeah. You guys' Instagram as well. But yeah, we get like everything out really like on Instagram. So I feel like if you don't really have us on Instagram, you're not gonna be tuned in unless you have like me just on our personal Snapchat. Yeah, like we're trying to branch out a lot. We're trying to have like get on different platforms, reach different people, and like the whole happy by happy, happy by happy thing. Like splitting it up. That's like we're trying to reach different markets and shit. But like, mm-hmm. we're still going about like how to do it. Okay. But right now it's all money in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Also, you got a Twitter Twitter presence up. Shout out Cole, who's running it right now. But um. Oh, so it's more so yeah. part of the Happy Team. It's more than just. Well, yeah, yeah. Just started expanding. Okay. Like we have, um, like our friend Millie. She runs um our TikTok. And okay. Then our friend Cole. Hold on. Runs. So I'm gonna go on TikTok. I'm gonna see y'all doing Corvette Corvette. Nah, you nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Someone else runs she, it. Someone she else runs it. it. Like she's good with TikTok. She has her own personal. Oh, she has right. her own like following. So we just let her do it. Oh, that's lit. And yeah. then Nicole, she's really good with marketing and like she's on Twitter all the time. So she was like, she might as well just make the connection. She's out mm-hmm. in New York too. Okay. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, spreading she, out. Yeah, spreading yeah. She does a lot of our marketing. She helps us with like reaching out to people. Um, she does a lot of our Twitter. We also have Chrissy Productions, who's been mm-hmm. always been helping us with our videos. Mm-hmm. I was gonna yeah. say, yeah, you guys' videos pretty yeah. tough. Well, we try to keep everything in house as yeah. much as we can, yeah. Yeah. And so, what are you guys? Is what are some of you guys' goals and plans for this year upcoming? This year, I'm trying to tee up. Yeah. Honestly, awesome. our goal for this year is to try to drop at least once or twice every month. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's because um, yeah, how much you guys drop now? It'd be like. Nah, oh, uh, so like no, nah, the last two last, three months we've been dropping. Yeah, we've dropped twice a month. Yeah. yeah, the last two three months we've been since like COVID, we've mm-hmm. been dropping two three no like once or twice a month. Before then, I'm like, like we probably dropped like four times a year. We kind of do yeah, that. Yeah, we were. Mm-hmm. We were but it's only because we were so caught up on like doing like collections and having like a yeah. big drop. And you guys do other stuff too, like you just tell me like you're in school and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but that's not like yeah, yeah, that's not excuse. Yeah, that's not that. We were just kind of really fucking up on like when doing like bigger drops. So we were kind of like waiting for everything to go in, so it took longer. We we're trying to do like six, seven pieces on yeah. the drop. Mm-hmm. So now we're going down to like really do. I'm in collection, so now we're going. So now we just we just revamped everything. everything. Now we're just doing drops, so like two, three pieces. Yeah, we're four pieces. Whenever sometimes. we feel like it, whenever the customers like vocalize it, mm-hmm. you know, we just drop whatever we want, whatever they want, just put it out. Yeah, I feel you. Now that's why. Well. Thank you guys for allowing me to come and chop it up with us. Nah. Chop it up with you. Nah, Excuse thank me. Thank you for having um, us, honestly. Now, yeah, you already know. This is Fly Visions TV here with Hefe by Hefe, more than a boss. This is really some fly shit. You can definitely tap in and catch us next week.